astronomy always freaks people out. Right. There's a whole thing now. The Earth is flat. Yeah. Let's yeah, talk about that. Hey, hey, flat Earth people. <laughs> if you're out there, I'll tell you what. Get a car. Rent a car. And drive to the edge of the Earth. Send us some pictures. Don't follow all our theories. The theory is that you can't because the walls of Antarctica, etc., are so high that you can't get five so like We're living in a bowl, is what you're saying. What the, that they can't, you couldn't actually hit it like you'd hit a wall. This is the, this okay, is so here's my concern. <laughs> Not that I believe this, by the yeah, way. Yeah. The... You couldn't actually hit it. You'd like hit like a wall. Okay, so <laughs> I'm very sympathetic to that point of view, but... <laughs> <laughs> what would be better is get in a spacecraft and look down. Wow. Further we should try that one day. Uh, there was a really brilliant Greek scientist called Aristosthenes. And Aristosthenes noticed that there was a town called Syene. And on a certain date, the sun would actually shine straight down to the bottom of a well. That meant the sun was directly overhead. You could look down a well and see the sun shining back at you. We should try that and on the day. very same date, farther away in the city of Alexandria, that didn't happen. We that didn't happen. That, that didn't happen. Well, that didn't happen. You might want to check for that. There's a famous experiment conducted by Eric Tostin. We should try that one. Eric Tostin. We should try that one. Eric Tostin. Eric Tostin. Eric Tostin. There were two cities in the old world, mm -hmm. and one of them, Eric Tostin. They knew that at 12 noon on a particular day of the year, that the sun was directly overhead, and you could see the bottom of a well. Oh, okay. That didn't happen. Okay. Turns out with just two wells, there's enough wiggle room for both explanations to fit our observations. Eratosthenes only had two wells. By Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes only had two wells. Eratosthenes only had two wells. Eratosthenes. And Eratosthenes noticed. Eratosthenes only had two wells. You could look down a well and see the sun shining back at you. Eratosthenes only had two wells. And on the very same date, farther away in the city of Alexandria, that didn't happen. The sun was not directly overhead. The sun was, was directly overhead. Angle. It was directly and overhead. And all that Aristotle did was he was directly overhead. Check for that. There's a famous experiment conducted by Aristotle. The sun was directly overhead. It was a Power of journalism. Well, it says it right here. I don't want you to not talk about it. That's a Negro that's out of his mind. That's a Negro that's out of his mind. That's what the slave master in that day used to harm the house Negro to keep the field Negroes in check. The same old slave master today has Negroes. Nothing but modern Uncle Tommy. 20th century Uncle Tommy. Keep you and me in check. Keep us under control. Keep us passive and peaceful and non-violent. That's Tom making you non-violent. It's like when you go to the dentist and the man is gonna take your tooth. You gonna fight him. Eratosthenes only had two wells. Eratosthenes only had two wells. Eratosthenes only had two wells. make you think they're not doing anything. Eratosthenes. So you sit there and you got all that novocaine in your jaw. You suffer teeth. Two up. Two up. Two up. Two up. Two up. Two up. Straight to the horizon. Eventually, it begins to disappear until it's no longer visible beyond your horizon. And you should ask yourself, what? kind of surface would produce that result? Um, the ocean, if, it, if it's con... The ocean has a ramp. It's an elevator. It's an elevator. You get to a certain point and they just like going down. Seafarers knew this. Right. I just tell you, Chuck, walk due east. Okay? Right.
and don't ever stop. Get a car, right. rent a car, and drive to the edge of the earth. Send us some pictures. Yeah. The theory is that you can't because the walls of Antarctica, etc., are so high that you can't get... I've it's a, we're high. living in a bowl, is what they're saying. This is what the, that they can't, you couldn't actually hit it like you hit a wall. This is the Okay, so here's my concern. <laughs> Not that I believe this, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Hit you it. couldn't actually hit it. You'd like hit like a hit wall. It, hit, 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 hit it. So I now have a Tesla. Yeah. So I I, I, I ponied up. They're expensive, by the way. Um, so, I heard. Yeah. So I have the X. So that's my so sort of utility vehicle. The X is the, the SUV. The scientific scientific consensus is overwhelming. It's serious scientists actually zero, literally zero, who who think that Earth is a giant ball of lava. That you can just believe something so hard, and that is every bit as valuable or valid as facts, right? Or what is discoverable through the process of science. It's really troubling. What made you fall in love with science? I don't remember. Balls, 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 balls,